This video is for you if you are someone who struggles with dealing with cubics or quartics at TMUA level. Let's have a look. My name is Jamin and I'm a mathematics graduate from the University of Oxford and I now help students who are looking to study maths at Oxford or Cambridge get in with an over 80% success rate. So if you're interested in that, link in the description below. Anyway, the equation x to the 4 plus bx squared plus c equals 0 has four distinct real solutions. If and only if, which of the following conditions is satisfied? And we've got six different options here. Let's dive in. In order for this quartic to have four distinct real solutions, well, it's a quartic, and so by the fundamental theorem of algebra, it can have at most four real solutions. And so, therefore, <clears throat> it must have exactly four. And so every single solution to this is exactly real. No complex or no non-real numbers, uh, real solutions. Uh, let's have a look at this. So how do we deal with this? Well, the idea is, firstly, this is a hidden quadratic. Hopefully that's pretty obvious if you are someone preparing for the TMUA. So u squared plus bu plus c equals zero, where u is just x squared. So we need this, firstly, this quadratic has to have two solutions. But furthermore, the two solutions to this quadratic both have to be positive. So we need this quadratic to have two distinct real solutions, but both those real solutions are positive. So let's just verify that this is enough as well. So let's say we have u equals alpha or u equals beta are the two solutions where alpha and beta are both positive. Let's just check that this is enough for this quartic to have four real solutions. Well, this is true because if alpha and beta are both positive numbers and distinct, then x squared uh, being e equal to alpha or beta means x is plus or minus root alpha plus or minus root beta. And since alpha and beta are distinct positive numbers, both these numbers, oops, makes sense and they're both they're all four of them are real cool okay so we want this uh, quadratic to have two positive real solutions so firstly it has to have two real solutions so we need the discriminant of this guy to be positive so that's b squared minus 4c to be positive but furthermore we need uh, the uh, first solution to be uh, the, sorry both the solutions to be positive now, you could do this via the quadratic formula, but there's a nice little trick to this. Let's imagine we have b squared minus 4c is positive. Well, that means we have two real roots. Now, how can we insist that both those real roots are positive? Well, uh, we firstly need c to be positive. Why is this? If c is negative, then our quadratic here, u squared plus bu plus c, will have a negative y-intercept and so look something like that. We don't want that, so c has to be positive. Furthermore, though, that's not enough because, of course, you could have a quadratic like this, um, well, maybe not like that, like this, where the y intercept is positive, but both your solutions are negative. So we need to insist that the, the turning point is to the right of the x-axis. Well, where is the turning point? Well, the turning point is uh, at minus b over 2. So we need this to be positive as well. So if we put all three of these conditions together, we'll have our answer. So we need b squared minus 4c to be bigger than 0. That's if and only if b squared is bigger than 4c. Now this means either b is bigger than the square root of 2c or b is less than the square root of minus 2. Uh, sorry, let me say that again. So this is true if and only if b is bigger than 2 root c or b is less than minus 2 root c. Um, noticing here, of course, c is an, a positive number, which is crucial. Uh, but notice from this inequality, this inequality requires b to be negative. And so therefore, we can ignore that. We need that. So we need b to be less than minus 2 root c and c to be a positive number. And so the answer, therefore, is d. So if c is positive and b is less than minus 2 root c, this quart uh, quart uh, quadratic will have two real positive solutions, and so this qu quartic will have four real solutions. Um, a nice little problem here, and easy to get kind of confused between what's necessary and what's sufficient here. Um, so a good thing to do is, if you're a little bit unsure, just check. So check if b is less than minus 2 root c and c is bigger than 0, what are your solutions to this? And the easy way to do this, or a way to do this, is just by using the quadratic formula. So we know that x squared is going to be minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4c all over 2. And we know b squared is minus 4c is going to be positive because we've insisted here b is less than minus 2 root c. Uh, so that's going to be positive. And minus b is also going to be positive. But notice in particular, since c is bigger than 0, root b squared minus 4c, that's going to be less than minus b, which is important because that means that our smallest positive, smallest root is still positive. 
and then this you know kind of again as i said you're going to take the square root of this and you're going to get your additional two solutions cool awesome that's the answer to d thanks so much for watching uh, if you do want to watch another video of mine here's one where i've solved an interesting mat problem thanks so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one have a great day